This video was eventually going to come out sooner or later, but I didn't think that it would be so soon. Newcastle has the lowest pick rate out of all the legends in the game. What makes it worse is that it's in his intro season. Unlike Mad Maggie, who was at least above crypto, he now sits below crypto. But why do people not play Newcastle? That is what I'm here to explain to you today, just like the rest of my Why Nobody Plays videos. I'll be going over the strengths and weaknesses in his. The main strength in Newcastle will generally be his kit. His kit provides a lot of utility for any team that he plays with. His shield when reviving is huge when reviving a own teammate in a bad situation and can be used as a counter for enemies who are pushing you. You can play around the shield by cancelling it and then reactivating it. His tactical is really good for entry fragging and also good on defensive because you can move the shield towards enemies and play around it to take less damage from enemies and also you can move it through doors so you can stick an arc star on it and move it through a door that an enemy is holding and get up a hand on them. Although it can be broken if shot at enough, it still provides a decent amount of cover and time for whatever you need to defend yourself from in that moment. But do keep in mind it doesn't fully enclose you and can only block incoming damage from one side due to how the shield is made, but it can be rotated. His ultimate is actually the best part of his kit, in my opinion. His ability to create space in any area and also to provide cover is really good and underrated. Because no other legend can give you playable cover that can be used by your entire team and stop advances like Newcastle. Rampart's wall can easily be jumped over without any repercussions. Newcastle wall will slow you and deal 20 damage, that's the point I'm trying to make with. Newcastle's second strength is his high skill ceiling. Regardless of what you may think of the legend, he does have a high skill ceiling. As we've seen in ALGS, 100 thieves used Newcastle throughout the whole tournament and did really well with him. A legend who is deemed horrible by the average Apex player was shown on the biggest stage in Apex and how to properly utilize his kit and how to actually play him with the high skill ceiling he has. But this leads into the weaknesses of Newcastle. Not every player in this game is a pro level or even at a level where they can take a character and get the full potential out of them after a few days. Which brings me to Newcastle's first weakness. The skill issue with Newcastle is pretty evident. Do I think he's a bad legend? No. No, I don't. But is he extremely hard to play? Yes. Unlike content creators and pro players who can spend time to figure out the ins and outs of a legend's kit, most people don't have the time to do that and would want to play an already established legend who the community is somewhat familiar with and can easily watch a guide on them and just learn from there. With Newcastle, his kit is very situational. Whether it be you using his kit to create a better situation for yourself or your team, or his kit not being the best for the situation that you are in. Not all of us are a part of the 100 Thieves roster and can bring out the full potential of Newcastle. The skill issue with Newcastle is clearly obvious to the casual community. His second weakness is that he is not fun to play as, as with most defensive legends. They are just not as fun to play as other legends in the game. You watching right now might not care about having fun and just want to win, and I get that. But there are others watching right now who would want to play a fun legend in pubs and not worry about shield placements every 10 seconds to 2 minutes. And this is just his third weakness, but I didn't want to make another segment to prolong the video unnecessarily. But you are genuinely better off just playing Gibby. Gibby is broken as fuck, and his shield is way better in more situations than Newcastle's shield. Gibby's shield completely encloses you and your teammates for a few seconds and is impenetrable unless a mad Maggie uses her tactical. And Gibby has offensive power, which is defensive bombardment, which can turn the tide of a game if truly necessary. I don't think Newcastle is a bad legend. He is still relatively new to the game since that we are still in his launch season. Will he have a soaring popularity like Seer, or will he stay at the bottom? of the pick rates and wither away like most new legends, only time will tell.